Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a sound play when a part is clicked. So for starters we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open we want to head to the top bar here, click on View and enable Explorer and Properties. So now that we've enabled Explorer and Properties we now want to go and make the part which the sound is going to be coming out of. So for this tutorial I'm just going to be kind of making it kind of like a speaker because when a, another part is touched music will play from this sound so let's also go and make ourselves a button over here let's just do something like that you can put put this button into a wall you can put it on the ground it's completely up to you honestly I'm just gonna actually put it on the ground here let's make a small button so basically how this will work if a player clicks on this part audio will play out of this part so now that we've added our parts into the game we now want to go and rename them. So we want to change our button. We want to change the name to button. From part to button. Then also with our other part here where the audio will be coming out of, we want to change this to speaker. So now that we have renamed our parts, we then want to go and click on our button and we want to insert a click detector. We also want to then click on the plus button again and click on script. We now want to click back onto our base plate and we want to click on our speaker where the audio will be coming out of. We want to click on the plus button next to speaker and insert a sound. You can, you can try find sound, but you can also search it up to search up sound and click on sound. Once we've inserted the sound into the speaker, we want to go and click on the sound and we want to change the name from the sound to speaker sound. So now we want to go choose the sound that the part will play when that button is clicked. So to choose a sound, you want to go to the creator marketplace. You then want to click on audio. And as you can see, there are two different areas here. There are sound effects and music. If you want to use music, you can, but you are also able to use sound effects. For this tutorial, I'll be using this fire alarm here. Basically, that is the audio that is going to play when the part is touched. Please, but please feel free to use your own audio or any other audio that you would like. But for this tutorial, I'll be using this fire alarm. So now that you've chosen your sound, you now want to go up to the top link here and copy the sound ID. I'm going to double click on the big bunch of numbers, copy that, control C or right click copy. And we want to take that back to Roblox Studio. So now that we have the sound ID, we want to go up to our Explorer, go find our speaker, and then we want to click on our speaker sound. You then want to scroll down, down to asset and find sound ID. We then want to control V or right click paste our ID there and click enter. You are able to preview it here, but as you guys can see, our sound ID has now been inserted into our sound ID area. You are able to adjust the volume of it down here. You are able to adjust that, but leave the playing and looped unticked. So now that we've inserted our sound ID into the speaker sound, we then want to go and click on the script on the button. We then want to remove all the previous code that is in the script. And then you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio. Control V, right click paste. If your speaker is not named speaker, the script will not work. So let's say your speaker is named speaker one, for example, okay? Or your sound is called speaker sound one. The script will not work. So to change that, let's say you have speaker one and speaker sound one. You want to go to line three here where it says local sound effect equals game dot workspace dot speaker. You want to change speaker to speaker one. You're also wanting to change the speaker sound to speaker one. That is just an example. But let's say you have it named something else. Let's say your speaker is called car. You want to change the speaker to car. Or let's say your sound is just called sound. You want to change this. Just so sense. once you've finished adjusting the script, if you have adjusted the script, we then want to go and click the X button next to script and we want to go and click play. So as you guys can see, we have just loaded into the base plate. Also, please make sure your Roblox volume is on or you will not be able to hear the audio. Then you want to go and click on our button. And as you guys can see in the background, the audio is playing from this part. The further away we get from this part, the quieter it gets. The closer we are, the we are also able to adjust a couple more things. Let me zoom into the script here so it's a bit easier for you guys to see. 
we are also able to add a couple more things to the script to make it even cooler. So let's say we wanted to make this part shine red whenever it's clicked. Okay, so let's say we wanted it to shine this color whenever it is clicked. And when it is not being clicked, it can be green, for example. What we want to do, we want to go back to the script and we want to add here just above local function in the line here. We want to add script dot parent dot material. This will basically change the current material from plastic to whatever material you would like. So material space equals signed enum or enum dot material dot the material you would like. Then what you want to do, we are going to do the script to change the color. So basically what this does, this changes the material. So basically what this does, it changes the material of our parent. So the parent of this script is the button because the script is inside the button. So if we click on script, you'll be able to see that the parent is our button. So this basically goes script dot the parent, which is our button dot material dot the material dot neon. This basically changes it to the neon. Now, if we want to change the color also, we want to do this. We want to go script dot parent, just how we were before dot color. Oh, sorry, dot brick color, just like that. And equals equals brick color, brick color dot new. Then we want to do the brackets, those ones there and change it to whatever color you want the part to be. So basically this is now setting up the button. So before anything has even been clicked, the part is green. So without us even having to change the color of the part in here like this, the script will do it for us automatically. So when we load into the game, the part will already be changed this color in a neon frame. So if we go and close the script and we go and click play, we should load into a base plate where the button is already green. As you guys can see, without us even doing anything or changing anything in Roblox Studio in the properties of that part, the button is green. And if we click it, the audio will still play. So let's say we want the audio or sorry, the button to change color. We want to go down here to where it says sound effect play. We want to make a sp uh, space below weight and we want to type in script dot parent dot material equals enum dot material dot neon. This is basically assuring that the material is neon after the sound is playing. We then want to go and change the color of the material or the part when the sound starts playing and when it is clicked. So we want to go script dot parent parent just like that and brick color equals brick color dot new. We want to change the brackets just like that. And let's say let's make it a bright red just like that. So now when we load in and we click it, it will make sure that it is on neon. The material is neon and that the color is bright red. Now, let's say once the audio has finished, it's going to change back to the lime green that was originally up here. So we just want to make another line below the sound effect dot ended and wait. We want to make another line there and do the exact same thing as we did before. Script dot parent dot material equals enum dot material. Oh, sorry, uh, I spelled that wrong. Dot material uh, dot neon. This basically makes sure that it is on the neon texture or it will not shine bright. So we're making sure that the, uh, the part is neon. We then want to make another line and do the exact same thing. Script dot parent dot brick color equals brick color dot new and then the brackets and we want to change this back to the lime green. So basically how this will work now without us even pressing the button or clicking on the part, the part will turn to lime green as soon as we join into the game. But as soon as the part is clicked and the audio starts playing, the part changes to the neon texture or assures that it is on the neon material. And then it also changes the color of that part that we clicked to a bright red. 
Then once the audio has finished, the button will make sure uh, the script that will make sure the part is on neon. And then it will also make sure that it is changed to lime green. So let's go test it out. So if we click the X by script and we go and click on play, as you guys can see, we have started off with the button green, shining green. But the moment we click it, it changes to a red color and the audio plays. So until this audio ends, this button will be red and shining uh, red. And as you guys can see, the audio finished and the part changed back to the green. This additional part of the script will be in the description of the video. It will be the second script in the description. You'll see a one called script one and also one called script two. This is going to be script two. So if you want your parts to change color when it is clicked, script two is the script for you. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.